Pennsylvania touts this as the largest working vault of its kind in the nation. Secured behind 400 tons of steel plus concrete, the front door alone weighs 60 tons. It was built in 1939. This vault is way cooler than the vault in the movie Ocean's Eleven. The only thing that that movie has that we don't have is George Clooney. What it does have is jewelry. This is a really interesting piece. Gosh, I think it's almost 900 grams of gold. And lots of it, in addition to coins, cash. Some diamond crusted opera glasses. Even some wireless headphones. There are six rooms, known as cages, with 145 drawers in each. Here we have some silver candelabras, trays, serving dishes, and these would be from the late 1800s to the uh, 1950s. Most items come from financial institutions that are required to turn over any unclaimed property after three years. Banks, nursing homes, even leftovers from the police evidence locker. When it piles up, the state auctions it off, but that money will still go to the rightful owner no matter when it's claimed. The only thing in here that won't ever hit the auction block? Military awards and achievements. The treasurer is a veteran herself. Each one is priceless. Each one tells a unique story. So how do you find out if something in there belongs to you? We'll give you this web address in just a minute, but all you have to do is hit search now, then you enter your name and town, and it will pop up if the state has something that is yours. The treasurer says the average claim is about $2,000, and one in 10 Pennsylvanians will find something. I guarantee you that some of your relatives, some of your friends and your acquaintances absolutely have unclaimed property. It could be from uncashed checks, dividend checks or stock certificates. It's all just waiting to be claimed. And until then, we'll be here for safekeeping. Caitlin Smith, WGAL News 8. The website to see if you have unclaimed property in Pennsylvania is patreasury.gov backslash unclaimed hyphen property backslash.